All the prophets and messengers came teaching the people that you'll be responsible for your sin. Then Jesus came, according to you, says, no, I'm going to die for your sins. Then the prophet Muhammad came after, he said, no, you are responsible for your sins. Logic dictates the only, the, the, the only false prophet is Jesus, according to your belief, because he opposed all of them. Prophet Muhammad goes in line with all the prophets and the messengers in the Old Testament. But no, because there's a break with Jesus Christ. He changes the nature of religion because he changes the nature of human community. Yeah, but Jesus said, I came to fulfill the law, not to break the law. When a young boy came to Jesus, he said, oh, good master, what should I do to inherit the kingdom of heaven? So remember, this young boy is coming to, to the one of the best people, the Messiah, Jesus. And he's asking him about the most important thing that we ask ourselves, you know, about how can I get salvation? Yeah. So he's asking him and that's the best time for Jesus, the, the true Messiah, to clarify the truth. He said, oh, you're a good master. What should I do to inherit the kingdom of heaven? He said, don't call me good. He said, why are you calling me good? No one good, only God alone. Then he said, keep the commandments of God. What is the commandment of God? The Torah. And what is in the Torah? You'll be responsible for your sins. The young boy said, I have been doing this since I was young. Jesus said, but you are lacking one thing. He said, what is it? He said, give your wealth away and follow me. He never said to him, you want salvation? Do you want eternal life? Believe I'm going to die for your sins, you're saved. He never said that. That's why I said to you, reflect, think about it. I mean, I can go deeper than that. I can tell you even, you have to go. Thank you. It was nice talking to you. What we do before you, when you go home, pray to the God of Abraham, the God of Jesus, the God of Moses to guide you to your truth. Would you do that? Yes. So Jesus has a God. He cannot be God then. All right, take care of yourself. May Allah guide him. Alhamdulillah. Khulasa to summarize, you know, subhanAllah, when you look to Islam, this is one of the points I've been mentioning recently. When you look all the prophets and messengers, came, worship, alaikum, came, worship God alone, one God. Then according to Christian, Jesus came with Trinity. Then who after Jesus, Prophet Muhammad. So logically speaking, the only false prophet and teacher about God is Jesus, according to the Christians. Because he is going and guess all the prophets and messengers. But Prophet Muhammad is going in line with them. All the prophets and messengers of the Old Testament, all of them came, you're going to be responsible for your sins. According to the Christians, Jesus came, no, I'm going to die for your sins. Who came after that, Prophet Muhammad, that you'll be responsible for your own sins. So Prophet Muhammad's teaching is going in line with all the prophets and the messengers. Who is opposing them again? Jesus. SubhanAllah. That's one of the lines I can show them. Christianity is a paganism religion, no doubt about that. I mean, look, sometimes I, I go patient with some people, but as soon as you tell me God become a baby, you know, khalas, you lost it, man. I mean, like, come on. What is the lie? It doesn't make any sense. But sometimes I'm patient with them. Try to, but as soon as you say, the Almighty become a creation, the Creator become a creation. I mean, like, come on, man. That's why Christianity is dying in the Western world. And the non-Muslims are looking for salvation. That's why upon us Muslims, learn Islam, and first to learn it, for us to implement it, according to our abilities, also to give da'wah. You know, you don't have to be on camera giving da'wah. You can give da'wah by giving a leaflet, by donating, by uh, uh, getting water to your brother, by, you know, some people, they think the only way to give da'wah by be on a camera or in a mosque teaching. No, there are some people, they give da'wah behind the scene better than me 1,000 times. I know some brothers, they have the da'wah. No one knows them here. But who knows them? Allah. Subhanallah. If Allah knows you, you don't need to people know you. Wallahi, may Allah give us sincerity. And may Allah give us humbleness. Barakallah. You know what? I have to check. check